Hello everyone, for today's video I have a full Super Saiyan Rage themed moveset. So guys, very quickly, leave those themed moveset suggestions in the comments and the best ones will be used for future videos. So if you've been a viewer of the channel for a while now, I think it was sometime early this year, early 2017 I think, but I did a video called the full false Super Saiyan Blue Fiend moveset and that was based off of Trunks' new transformation that he received in Dragon Ball Super which is now known as Super Saiyan Rage, Super Saiyan Anger, Super Saiyan Ikari, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's all good, I don't care or if they change it in the Funimation dub of Dragon Ball Super, we don't know as of right now but I did a video based off of that and again at the time we just simply did not have a name for it so Consider this, maybe, I don't know, a sort of remastered version of that moveset because, well, we now have more, I guess, like, footage and what have you, and we just know a bit more about this new form. So for our four supers, we have Dormasenko, Soul the Flare, Justice Rush, and Gallic Gun, two ultimates, Justice Combination, and Sword of Hope, Super Saiyan as a transformation, and Armored Boost as our evasive. Guys, let's just get into the first battle for this video. So as we do go into the first battle for this video, this guy level 99, Saiyan Spirit and Empress Death Beam as his two ultimates now. <laughs> I do kind of get a bit wrecked and baited, you know, right here, trying to get the perfect blocks off when I vanish and he goes for the back here. Doesn't really work out for me. Well, I mean, he does right there, but yeah, uh, I mean, I will make a bit of a comeback. I mean, I've been like, what, 20 seconds in and I've used over half of my total stamina. Not looking too good, you know, right now. But very quickly for my moves there, I mean, there's a few attacks that I may need to explain. For example, uh, you know, one of my supers, Justice Rush, and one of my ultimates, Justice Combination. Yes, I do know Trunks didn't use either of those, but, well, firstly, for my transformation, of course, Super Saiyan. And I decided just to go for Super Saiyan 2 because it's the closest thing we have as a version 1.08.00 of Xenoverse 2 for the PS4 that resembles Super Saiyan Rage. I mean, it doesn't really resemble it, but again, it's just the closest thing that we actually have. So with Justice Rush and Justice Combination, um, yeah, right there. But at least with Justice Rush, like for the start, it gives you a slight blue aura, which of course, Super Saiyan Rage gives you a blue and yellow aura. I think it's blue on top of yellow, but yeah, it's just the closest thing we can have. So, you know, if you're wondering why I went for those, that's the reason why. Um, Solar Flare because Trunks used it and Galley Gun because Trunks used it. Now, I could have gone for Super Galley Gun rather than uh, Sword of Hope. I mean, with, oh, Sword of Hope equals Super Saiyan Rage in my opinion. It's just like synonymous with the form. So I think that was like a must. Armored Boost, I mean, I don't think there's any sort of evasive that he used. If there is, I don't care. Um, Armored Boost just does a job. So he goes for Broly's Evasive, Gigantic Meteor, or Jog. I don't, know. I don't know what it's called, I really don't care. <laughs> it's just Broly's Evasive. Uh, I got off, yeah, as I went for the Dormasenko, yeah, I got off the one there as he, well, I broke his guard, went for Infra's Death Beam, into the Dormasenko, and that is game, very nice. Okay, so, going into the second battle for this video, I want to say this guy picks Super Saiyan Blue Goku, does he? I know he doesn't, I like it, I do apologise, level 84, oh yeah, this guy is weird, um, kind of in a good way, I guess. So you can see, he has a metric ton, that's, yeah, what? He's, okay, he's got a ton of, of um, key, not stamina. He's got a ton of key and pretty much no stamina. Like what level was he? Like level um, 84, so he's a pretty decently high level. He got Super Saiyan through there. I was very close getting the pepper block off. Of course, I was a bit too slow, I guess. So yeah, he goes for the Super God Shock Flash there, also known as the one inch punch, as I, you know, dashed into him. Perfect block there, that broke his guard. I got for the Solar Flare, which I didn't, and I think I'll make that mistake again later on in this video because this Solar Flare, I've mentioned this before, it's an attack that, realistically speaking, you're only going to use once per battle, and you could argue once per opponent because if you know if you know that your opponent's running Solar Flare and you know, either by scanning their moves at all because they've used it, you know to watch out for it. Because I think Solar Flare is pretty much the ultimate desperation or I guess like surprise attack. Maybe next to right javelin, but that's kind of situational in the sense that you need to have very, you know very low health for it to actually do any sort of damage. But with Solar Flare, if your opponent has no stamina, like less than two bars, I guess, and you go for it, you can then go for a stamina break, then maybe into right javelin if you are indeed running that. Um, yeah, I just prefer, you know, if I can help it, only using Solar Flare once per opponent. Or like once every while, at the, I guess like at the latest, or at the least, whatever. Uh, so he drops out to Super Saiyan 3 there, I go into Super Saiyan 2, into the Sword of Hope, and yeah, it's going to be game in a moment. 
Uh, yeah, go for the slide, the super sliding bass there into the last hope slash part of Sword of Hope, and that is game. Very nice. Okay. So I do wonder if we're ever going to get Super Saiyan Rage as a Saiyan transformation for our female and male Saiyan avatars. You know, after they give us Rage Trunks, which is in the game, but it's locked for whatever reason. You can't. Yeah, you know, it's just like Merge Zamasu. Final Form, Mirror, and Xenoverse 1, Demigra, and well, both forms of Demigra, rather. Um, and I guess like Demigra on the Switch version as well. You know, the um, Nintendo Switch version of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. But at least from my perspective, it just feels like Super Saiyan Rage would be the, like, I guess, like, the quote unquote easiest transformation for Saiyans to add because. Well, okay, I say it's the easiest. Like, if they, well, if they don't change the Saiyan hair so it's, it still doesn't spike up when you transform. Like in DLC 6, beyond that, or Xenoverse 3, or beyond that, you know, Xenoverse 4, if that's going to happen, who the hell knows? Then I would guess Super Saiyan Red would be the easiest form because all it will be is a slightly different aura. Because the aura is actually already in the game. It's in, well, we see Trunks use it in, um, like, one of the final, one of the final as of right now. Story my missions, like, against Merge Samasu. I don't know if it's a legitimate Awakeno or if it's just, like, a character slot, uh, like, a character swap rather not a character slot that doesn't make sense like for example pure progress for hit and super saiyan blue kaioken ow oh, and super saiyan blue kaioken times 10 for super saiyan blue goal like preset 2 and 4 like their legitimate awaken skills but again i don't know if super saiyan rage for of course dragon Ball, you know the dragon Ball super variant of future trunks is actually a you know an awaken or just like a separate character entirely who knows maybe we'll never know um, yeah, again, that'll be rather interesting. Guys, do let me know in the comments if you would like to see that, I guess. So, I'd say, being fair, I pretty much had, like, the advantage throughout this entire fight, or rather, I've just beaten him. So, it does, you know, like, right to, like, towards the end of the battle, it does kind of feel like he's just relying on Heavenly Arrow, which, I mean, if you want to do that, you know, good luck trying to do that repeatedly, because, I mean, right now, it's going to be game. I think my voice is cracked. I'm 24, and I think my voice just cracked. Well, wow, I... Um, okay, so yeah, right there, very nice finish if I may say so myself. We went for a heavenly arrow, and I went for the fully charged warp Gadigorn. Hell yeah, very nice. I mean, you could argue that it was very risky. I mean, I can't remember how much stamina I had. So, you know, so if it went wrong, I'd be able to use my base to get after Because I think if that heavenly arrow hit me, I think that would have been game. I'm not too sure. But yeah, this guy, uh, what is it, preset? Is it preset 3 or 4 of Super Saiyan Goku? I, who knows? Uh, it's Goku anyway. Now, I don't know if this is picking up or not, but this fight right here, at least at like the first half, like the first bit of it, and at least, I guess, for me, like, it just felt very laggy, like, stuff wasn't working. Like, I've used this before. I can't really think of, like, a better way to describe it, but it just felt... Get away from those cappers. It just felt stiff, okay? Um, so, yeah, there I got for, what was it? Super Saiyan 2, into the Omosenko. Okay, so it's preset 4. Yeah, okay, of course it is. Of course it is. How did I, yeah, how did I just completely miss that? So here I got for the Justice combination, and I think he's starting to paint because he got for Spirit Explosion. Okay, why? It wasn't worth it. Well, I say it wasn't worth it, but the thing is, looking back, like I think it was pretty clear that he was going to go for a Stamina Reset. Because, I mean, yeah, that, that may have been smart because I don't think, even if I went for like an Infinite or something like that, I just don't think I would have been able to do enough damage to defeat him by the time his stamina recharged. But there he goes for stamina break, I teleport, and I go for my own stamina break. Yeah, <laughs> great, it didn't work. But I'll get a power block off, which was very nice. We got, you know, admittedly, it was very nice right there. Uh, yeah, right there, it just felt weird. I mean, I've, I've heard people like say that this stage, the nighttime version of this stage, and the destroyed city stage, that, you know, like, not the ruined future, it's like the, um, like the destroyed city stage that was in the first universe game, you know, Dragon Ball Universe 1, that these three stages like, tend to be a bit more laggy than usual. Now, I definitely have felt that and seen that with like the other city stage, like the, um, again, the one that was in Universe 1, but this is actually one of my favorite stages to fight, I just love it. You have this one and the nighttime version. So yeah, uh, at this point, I'm thinking, well, as long as I can just, oh yeah, right there, I have no idea how the hell I got that perfect block off there when he went for Super God Fist. Or I guess the super blue godfish, who knows, but that's very nice. And they're into the Justice Rush, and that is the game. Very nice, guys. Next fight. We fight in Jiren. Yeah, um, yeah. So this guy is um, a Mount Earthly. His character's name was Jiren. You'll see that later on. Level 87. Was it Meteor Burst and something else as his two ultimates? So yeah, right there. Power block again. Don't know how the hell I did that. Yeah, and I mean, right there, kind of felt the coming, I guess. Um, 
So yeah, I picked the hell stage. Well, I think I just, well for the stage on this fight, I just picked random. And yeah, I was kind of thinking he may vanish there. He didn't, so I thought I'd just continue into the solar flare or the tile can, if you're Japanese. Okay, so there he was kind of spamming blocks. I thought, you know what? If you want to spam that, that's fine. I'll just go for the heavy smash, and that will destroy your stamina. My friend, a big mistake right there. I go for the just to rush into the Gallic Gun. The Gallic Gun does absolutely nothing. Great. Go for the back up there just as his stamina recharges. Very nice. Perfect block again. Again, he's trying to spam block. It didn't work the first time. It's not going to work the second time. Um, yeah, into the justice combination here. I mean, guys, can I just point out that I'm fighting Jiren? He's not hit me once in this fight and. I get, yeah, I'm going to say, I get the perfect win. Like, how long was that? Like, 58, 59 seconds long. Guys, I beat Jiren the Grey. Like, I beat him in under a minute. I perfected him. 58 seconds, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I just think that guy got very unlucky there, like, trying to spam block. Like, it just makes me laugh when people complain about people spamming blocks. Like, no, it's very e Like, it's just easy to counter. Like, just go for the heavy smash. And if it's something that you complain... Well, it's... I would say complain, but it's, if it's something that you deal with on a regular basis, just run Arm Crash. <laughs> it's that simple. Like, Arm Crash is just fantastic. I mean, the range... The range, well, I'm since I'm rage. The range, I apologise. The range of, of um, Arm Crash. I mean, yes, admittedly, it could be a bit better. Like, it's slightly longer. But if you know what you're doing, that's that's not even, like, an issue. It really isn't. Um, I mean, I think, at least, like, a while in Xenoverse 1, like, the original Xenoverse game, I think I actually ran... Arm crash. Um, I'm not sure. Like on my main move set, or this one of them. So yeah, they're Super Saiyan two. And I just really, yeah, I just realised that I actually don't go for Super Saiyan one or Super Saiyan three in this video. It's just Super Saiyan two. Very nice. He goes for his advice there, and guys, once I find out why he went through, I'll certainly let you guys know as well. Because I just have an idea why he went for it right there. He went for spiritual as well. I think he may go for his evasive again in the moment, and he just doesn't need to. I've got almost max. Actually, no, almost max heat. Like very close, like half a bar left before I actually get max. Is it just this combo there? I'm thinking, well, if you go for your evasive, like right there, I can't help you. Now, he's got just under three bars of stamina right now. I've got almost four bars of key. Perfect block gives me, you know, an additional bar of key. I'm thinking, well, if you want to run into me while you have, you know, pretty much no stamina and I've got a ton of key to go for, you know, a second just this combination, my friend, I will not stop you. It's your funeral. And of course, that's what happened, and that is the game. So guys, with that being said, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.